Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do color themes in Camtasia. Alright, so moving forward, I'm just going to call Camtasia just Camtasia. I usually call it Camtasia 9, but then they recently came out with Camtasia 2018, which I think is weird because they released it in July and it's going to be the end of 2018. And it also looks like Camtasia 9 with a couple of upgrades. So I'm not sure why they changed the name. So I'm just going to call it Camtasia. All right, so color themes. Color themes are going to be really helpful if you have certain color branding that you always do in your videos and you have a certain uh, color palette, a certain Pantone color that you need your fonts or your shapes to be and you always set it at that, this is going to be helpful for you guys. So I want you guys to pay attention to these three shapes right here, the colored shapes. Don't worry about this text right here. I'll show you that later on. But I'm just going to highlight those three and I'm going to show you the color theme and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So I've highlighted them. I'm going to all of a sudden this pops up here on the side. I'm going to go to theme, select theme, and I'm going to click Acetino colors. And this is the one that I set up for our specific colors. I'm going to click on that and then it's going to turn things purple and white and black for the background. So those would be generally our colors. So if you always had branded specific videos, this is going to be useful for you. So let me show you how to do this. First of all, you need to set up a color theme. And to do that, you want to head over to File and go down to Manage Themes. So this is the theme that I just showed you guys. So you see here, I have white, black, sort of like a darker gray and a purple and you can have another color if you want to and the annotation background I chose as purple you can also choose a specific font if you guys use a specific font all the time you can set that as well I just left it as the default here and you can have another font as well so when you set up your font let's let's create a new theme we'll call this test colors okay and it's gonna create a new one here and you can see that I've got Esatino colors and test colors so you we can change this around to whatever colors that are our brand you know and if you have a specific hex code you can enter that in to get your exact color tone you can also click on mode if you want the RGB numbers as well. If you don't use the hex code, there's two different ways, the hex code and clicking the R RGB. Or you can also do this, which allows you to grab the exact color. So if you had a picture of your logo and you don't know what the hex code color is or the RGB, you would just basically take this dropper and it samples any color that you put it on and it will tell you what it is. So if you just have a picture of the colors, then that's fine too. So I'm just gonna choose some colors here. Blue, let's just make it really vibrant. These, do these colors don't go together at all, but they're bright and they're fun and it's summertime right now. So I'm gonna click OK. And let's say, you know what, let's just for fun, let's just change the font to this crazy one right here. Click OK. And let's say I wanted to change the current stuff that I have here to a different theme. You can have more than one theme. So if you have different color schemes that you want to work with in different fonts, then you can set those up as well. So let's change this to test colors. Whoa, that's going to make it really crazy. So it changed it to yellow and the font and the pink and if you look really closely there's a blue outline now for the fonts you can do the same thing as well so you can highlight your font and then it's going to show you again your normal features where you would edit your fonts and then you can click the theme again so we can go to Esatino colors which stays white 
or test colors which is going to make it this font and this color. Now if you don't actually want this color you can actually change it because it's going to have your theme pop up here and you can change the different themes as well. So let's say oh no I actually wanted that font blue well we can change it to that and for this one you know we still want it to be our colors but I wanted the the font to be green you'll have it on hand for you so you have the colors on hand and it actually changed to the the cloud bubble instead of the font but you guys get the idea so these themes basically make it easier for you to have your color scheme because I'll admit you know if I need to get a specific color tone I would need to either type it in manually either in the hex code or in the RGB numbers here or I would need to specifically go and find it for each one but now if I set up a template then I can just go in between so the Esatino colors I can just go to these colors without having to go find them it's basically going to save you time if you use the same colors over and over again while you edit. Again let's head over to file, head over to manage themes and then from here you can either go bounce back between your current themes that you've created and edit them or you can rename the theme if you want to change it or you can delete the theme and this is where you create new themes. So that is it for this video. That is how you create color themes in the new latest version of Camtasia. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you want to check out the latest version of Camtasia, you can head down to the links down in the description below. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead. Oh, 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 oh,